Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time we took on the final boss of the DLC, Sir Alon. A really cool boss flat, and perhaps more importantly than him, we got all of the smelter wedges we need to destroy the rest of the Ashen Idols, so that's what we're gonna do now. Hopefully complete Nadalia's soul, and then see what we get from that. And go, oh shit, this is bad. This is, uh, this is bad. Get, get, get out of the way. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Buddy, I need you to move. Oh, thank you. Okay. I think we're gonna live. Now we've destroyed that thing. Let's kill this motherfucker. So we don't get pinned in there, because otherwise that's really gonna suck. And, uh, can I attempt to do it? Yeah. Can I attempt to try and poison him with the arrows? Ain't got much room to work here, but... We're gonna give it a go. Okay, we're gonna give it a go. Could probably run in there and grab the shot, but... I don't trust this guy. He's He traps me in there all the time, so... Screw that shit. But yeah, anyway, so... I originally thought Nadalia was going to be a boss, but we killed three bosses, I believe there are only three, so... I'm thinking this is just to complete her soul, so maybe you can make a weapon out of it or something. Maybe there's some other shit you can do, I really have no idea, but... Yeah, for now, we're going to go and destroy the rest of the idols. There's one at the bottom of the Smoky Tower of Death, there's one in the Smoky Room of Death, and there's one, I think, next to the Fume Knight. I think they're the only ones we have left. Actually, speaking of the smoky room of death, I believe this lift should take us down right onto the correct floor, so... I'm gonna try that. Wait a minute, why is there a lift there that doesn't move? This is very dangerous, but I wanna do... Okay, we're fine. I wanna see what the hell's up with this. This must have a point, surely. Like, why would you wanna land on this? I... Don't know. I mean, it looks like maybe we could drop from here down to the ledge below. But you can get there anyway. Can I cut the chains? No. I'll get it, man. I will not get it. I'm gonna try going this one. No! Oh, come on! <laughs> Why does that happen every time? Oh, son of a bitch. I blame the jump button. I pressed it. I swear to God. Okay, well, screw it, we're gonna do this one whilst we're here, because I was gonna go to the smoky room of death. Why is there loot over there? Hey, I've run past here like 40 times, in fact, more than that, depressingly, to get to the fume nights. And that was not there, so did I kill something and have it drop down? Why has it not disappeared? I guess it just doesn't. Hey, buddy, how's it going? At least I can actually kill this guy now. Turn that, Chunks. That's actually handy. Right, well, anyway, I'm gonna beat this dude up just because, frankly, I want to, because he's popped out of the ground like 40 times to try and chase me. And I'm gonna get my revenge, you son of a bitch. Don't be jumping around like that. But anyway, I'm gonna go- oh god. I'm gonna kill this guy very quickly, and then, like I said, we've got the Smoky Room of Death, then the Smoky Tower of Death. And I think they're the last two idols. I can't remember if we got the one next to the guys that look like Predator. I think we did, because I remember there was one healing them. And... Yeah, I, I remember we got the witches before that, so... I'm damn sure I destroyed that, and that's how we killed the first one, and then the rest we just ran away from, so... Yeah, I think it's just the two left. And then I'm hoping that's everything, because if we miss some more wedges and idols around here, then I ain't got a clue where they are. Okay, as you could probably tell, we are in the smoky room of death, and it has cussed the crap out of me. Now, I figure I should bring you in before I clear out all the enemies, because... I'm fairly likely to die here, because the dude with the bow always kicks my ass, and we can't even kill our shit. I forgot about you. I have totally aggroed the other guy, haven't I? Yes, I have, motherfucker. But yeah, the dude with the bow... Oh my god. Okay, buddy, I need you to die quickly. No, 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 no. Dude with the bow always... Click oh god, he always kicks my ass. And we can't kill him until we get rid of the Ashen Idols, so... Gonna be a bit of a problem. Speaking of problems, really? That missed you? Oh my god. You know what, just die. Thank you. Okay. Now I believe it should just be the bow for the left, I hope. I don't think there's any more enemies around here. How long, where does he even come from? Oh, he's over in the corner as a pile. Yeah, I see him glowing now, you son of a bitch. Could shut the door behind me, but we're just gonna go for it, because when this thing's destroyed, we can actually kill him, so. No, I, this is bad. I don't have to dump around circles. I don't, I don't shut the door in my face. We should, in theory, be fine, because that was mostly what almost got me killed last time. There we go. Sweet revenge. Okay, and hey, I just realized it's got light in here, and yeah, it's not cursing anymore. That's very cool. Anyway, yeah, smoke it tower time. Okay, let's do this shit. Now, I could very slowly and methodically take out all the enemies on the way down, besides the bow buddies. 
But we're just gonna run down here, because frankly, screw that shit. We already did that before, like twice said. It takes too damn long, and I'm too lazy for that. And since this is the last one, and it will make the bow dudes killable, you know, it's just gonna make our lives easier to just bum rush this thing. Plus, uh, wait a minute, I have a decent idea here. Maybe if we quickly put on the, I think it's the purple one, yes. Bring a soul protection means if I die and I'm just gonna let them kill me, it don't freaking matter. So kill on that. Okay, so I believe, hey, there we go. We just got the soul a second time, so I'm assuming that's the complete version. Okay, so it looks like we did indeed get all of them. Well, thank Christ for that. And again, even though we died, we kept everything we had, so that's a good thing. Right now, before we go running off, let's go check out the soul very quickly and that pyromancy trouser snake, I think it was called, that we got earlier. Where the hell is my ring? Hey, oh wait, it's down there, isn't it? Yes, there you are. Trying to hide from me, that's a bad ring. And yes, we do indeed have a soul. Soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash, who renounced her flesh and wandered Broom Tower. In the act of dancing, the Bride of Ash was transfigured as smoke, enticing people to her residence. And so her seat of power came to be known as the Broom Tower. The wondrous soul of this ogre of solitude, blah blah blah. Interesting. See, it kind of does sound like uh, she came to this land after the Iron King had already fallen, and she became the queen. It doesn't say that explicitly, but that's what I think. We also got Trouser Snake. Uh, by a Major's Igil, blah blah blah. Create several pillars of flame in front of the castle. Igil sought to grant fire a will of its own. This pyramid was conjured to behave like a snake, writhing towards its prey. That sounds really cool. And you know what? Before we go running off and, you know, checking out the boss soul weapons and talking to Vendrick and whatever else, we can actually equip these because I'm a pyromancer. So yeah. I mean, I guess you can at like any level, they're just gonna suck. And. Yes, there's my hand. Right, see what Dance of Fire does. Dance for me! That. That dance is alright, it came out completely the wrong direction. That's very cool. I don't know if it just goes wherever it wants or if it ricochets. Kinda hard to say. But yeah, we can't actually equip uh, Trouser Snake, so I believe I have a ring. This one, I think. Yes. Gives me more attunement slots. So now we can check out Trouser Snake. Which, uh, actually, let me see if I can use this one. Oh. I don't have the uh, stats. I want to see what the new Dark Pyromancy does, but no, Pyromancy, Hex, whatever. But I can't equip it. So, yeah, we'll go with Warmth for now. I should probably use Warmth a lot more than I do, but I just frankly forget. Yo, Trouser Snake. That was, uh. It was okay, I guess. It better do some decent damage, because you only get two of the bastards. Anyway, very quickly, let's go speak to... I guess we'll go to Ornifex first, because... I remember for the Sunken King DLC, we went to Strayed, and he couldn't make anything out of any of the souls from that DLC. I'm gonna assume it's gonna work the same this time. It might very well be completely different. It might be that Strayed can make everything from this one. I don't really know, but generally, this chick seems to be more useful than him, so... We're gonna go with that theory. Don't hit me. Aha! Uh -huh. Dutched. What up, Born Effects? How's it going? Right, so uh, I am in completely the wrong menu. Son of a bitch. Okay, so there's the Fume Sword, the Fume Ultra Great Sword, kind of what I figured. Anything we can do with Nadalia's soul? Ah! Chime of Screams. Interesting. A secret chime forged from the soul of Nadalia. Nothing appears secret about this frightful design of this chime, but this does have the benefit of raising one's faith. The oozing frozen iron forming the bell seems to anticipate a scream. Interesting, I wonder if it actually makes a screaming sound when you use it, because if it does, that's very cool. I didn't see anything we could make with, uh... What's his damn name? Sir Alon? Maybe I missed it, but I don't think I did. I have no idea. But anyway, I also want to check out... Oh, I could have sworn it was called the Marvelous Greatsword, because I was thinking maybe it was like a loose reference to Marvelous Chester, because he's got some kind of association with Artorius, at least, you know, because he talks about him, I guess. But no, it's majestic. Doesn't seem very majestic to me, but whatever. Okay, finally cleared out this freaking room of death. God, I hate those explodey bastards. They blow me up twice. My god, holy shit, 45 grand! Damn, son! Spouts multiple dark flames, this child of dark, bearing inconceivable strength, found herself in a, night, a kingless land devoid of souls, and in journeying there, has all but condemned herself to a fate most wretched. But she's like a you know, dark shard of menace. She likes wretched and, you know, terrible shit, you would think. But yeah, that's freaking expensive. I can almost afford it. Let me check here very quickly to make sure he can't make any weapons. Oh, Mithra, for some reason I was reading that as, uh, Alana, but no. Okay, so yeah, he can't make anything, but he can make a pyromancy. 
Which I know, you know what I mean. You can't make any weapons, but you can make a pyromancy. And I'm going to pop this mod of very quickly and buy it and we'll test them out and then we're going to speak to Vendrick. That's right, buddy. Burn! Uh. Okay, so you get one cost of Valkyrie. And admittedly, you know, I do have a plus 10 pyromancy here, but it's not like my guy's built as a pyromancy or exactly so. I mean, you know, you could probably get that spell to do more damage, but that seemed a little bit pathetic, I gotta say. I don't know if those dudes are resistant to it or something, but... You know, for one cast, I was expecting something kind of amazing, and that really rather wasn't. How does Trouser Snake deal? Well, you know, you could just block it. Screw you. Eh, Trouser Snake's not that much worse. And again, you only get two of them. Well, that's a little disappointing. Maybe it's really good on players? I do not know. Aha, I knew I remembered seeing Booty over there, and now this lift is activated, so we can go grab it. Now, we know Dark Souls, it's probably gonna be a flame butterfly or some shit, but we're gonna check it out just in case. Come here, lift. Come on. Here we go. Okay, that was kinda scary. Going up? Right, check out this shit over here. What are you? Hey, Baneful Bird Ring. Interesting. Now to actually find it. It's bound to be down the bottom somewhere, but I have so many damn rings and for some reason I'm just blind to the damn things. It's there, isn't it? Yes, reduces stamina loss when blocking with a shield. Interesting. Rain was known as an agile swordsman who served King Vendrick, but after resigning from his post, he reconsidered his way of life and was born again as a stalwart warrior. No, he was born as a dick, that's what he was. Gotta hate that guy. Really cool boss fight, I like the lore and everything, the design. I just hate him. He's a dick. Okay, well, I believe that's about everything around here, that I, at least that I know about. Just trying to think, is there anything else we need to check out before we go to Vendrick? I don't know. I'm going to explore around a little bit more, but if I find nothing, I'll just see you at Vendrick. Random bonus footage. Okay, so long story short, I'm recording this after I went and spoke to Vendrick, but there's a bunch of item descriptions and stuff I wanted to show that I forgot to, so... I'm recording this afterwards. And yeah, I leveled my character up a bunch. We're now 196 instead of 128, because we were just too damned underpowered for that DLC. I'm hoping it's going to be a bit better for the Ivory DLC now that we're, you know, not quite so ridiculously low level. And yes, this is Sorolon's sword. You can actually make it. The captivating, undulating design serves to enhance this weapon's mystical allure. Long came from the east and came, uh, soon became the king's most trusted knights. When he departed, the old iron king bequeathed Sorolon's name to his iron warriors. Very cool, and I think, if I'm correct, it should have a special attack that you can use. Well, not an attack exactly, but, uh, you'll see. Is it L2? Yes. How damn cool is that? You self sepaku why well, I guess sepaku is self. Whatever, you sepaku on yourself, and you buff the sword so it does more damage. That's awesome! It's a really good sword anyway. I also fully upgraded, I haven't upgraded this yet, but I need to, but, uh, I also fully upgraded the fume sword, because... Apparently that thing is very good. It doesn't do crazy damage, but it is very quick. A straight sword forged from the soul of the Fume Knight and imbued with the Dark of Nadalia. The Exiled Swordsman Rain became... Oh, had the ability to expunge the Black Fog, but chose instead to live alongside it, in the company of the Child of Dark that haunts his sword. See, it's interesting to me, the way they're speaking, it sounds almost like he was an Abyss Walker, but chose not to. Like he just, he accepted the darkness. And that's dropped from the guys with the bows, I think. The ones that can't be killed when there's uh, actual idol near them. The Umbral Dagger, I believe I got that from one of the dual dagger wielding lightning shooting bitches. And I believe that's it for weapons. I do want to show off Sorolon's armor description and also Rain's armor, because we haven't actually seen that yet. Uh, all of that's the same except then, at the very peak of his size rule, Sorolon set out again in search of lands yet unknown. That's very interesting to me. The reason that's interesting to me is because we killed him. Even though it was a memory, we know what you do in a memory is canon, so... It's kind of strange. Uh, the Rebel Reim, after his defeat at the hands of Velstack, came to Broom Tower in search of great strength. Uh, when he found it, it came not from a regal father figure like before, but from a newfound mother who gave him true purpose. So yeah, you can get a shield in the regular game that basically tells you that Velstat and Reim were the left and right hand men of Vendrick. He feuded with Velstat, and Velstat defeated him. Didn't kill him, apparently. See, it's very interesting to me, and apparently if you wear any of Velstat's armor in the boss fight, he buffs immediately. It's a nice touch. Anyway, I believe that's about everything, so, uh, yeah. Let's go speak to Vendrick. In the past. 
What's up, buddy? The hero have returneth. Seeker of fire. I see you've subdued another foul creature. One of the father of the abyss spawn. That confounded quintessence of humanity. I think he means Alana. The abyss once had form, but then dissipated. And yet, traces of its existence endured. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark with no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. What a bitch. A feeble, tiny thing that thirsted for power more than any other. Driven by insatiable lust for a worthy vessel. Wait a second, if he was manipulated by Nishandra, how does he know she was originally feeble and tiny? Whatever. Anyway, do you like my balding crown, sir? Fire came to be, and with it, disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, light and dark. So you don't like my crown is what you're saying? Dark was seen as a curse. Shadow is not cast, but born of fire. And the brighter the flame, the deeper the shadow. Inherit fire, and harness the dark. Such is the calling of a true leader. I got three crowns, trust me. I'm a leader. Dark was seen Wait, as what? Shadow I thought you were supposed to have new dialogue for every crown, because the stuff he was mentioning dark. about, uh... Yeah, Chandra being a fragment of Manison that we subdued one. I'm sure he's supposed to say that after you kill Alana. I don't know. Maybe we'll get the old Iron King uh, dialogue when we get the next one. I don't know. It seems like my game's bugging out. Well, anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate it. I'll like, and I will see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.